Together, let us pray the third novena to Saint Padre Pio. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The third day, prayer from the first letter to Timothy. First of all, then, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be offered for everyone. It is my wish, then, that in every place the men should pray, lifting up pure hands without anger or argument. Similarly, too, women should adorn themselves with proper conduct, with modesty and self-control, not with braided hairstyles and gold ornaments or pearls or expensive clothes, but rather as befits women who profess reverence for God with good deeds. From the writings of Padre Pio God's power triumphs over everything, but humble and suffered prayer triumphs over God Himself. It lowers His arm, extinguishes His lightning, disarms Him, overcomes Him, appeases Him, and makes Him, I would almost say, a friend and dependent. Let us glance at the Divine Master who prayed in the garden and we will discover the true ladder which unites earth to heaven. We will discover that humility, contrition and prayer make this distance between man and God disappear and act in such a way that God descends to man and man ascends to God, so that they end up understanding, loving and possessing one another. Prayer Loving Saint Pio, you are patron and protector of a host of children and devotees from around the world. Continue to speak to the heart of God and present our needs to Him. Intercede for us that our prayers may be heard and answered if they are for the good of our souls and in conformity to the will of God. Novena to Saint Padre Pio O Saint Pio, I come to you today knowing that you are truly a miracle worker. As one who is close to Jesus, I ask that you would pray for these my intentions. Kindly state your intentions here. I pray with the words of Pope John Paul II as I beg for your prayers on my behalf. Glorious, humble and beloved Padre Pio, teachers we pray humility of heart so that we may be counted among the little ones of the Gospel to whom the Father promise to reveal the mysteries of his kingdom. Help us to pray without ceasing, certain that God knows what we need even before we ask him. Obtain for us the eyes of faith that will help us recognize in the poor and suffering 
the very face of Jesus. Sustain us in the hour of trouble and trial, and if we fall, let us experience the joy of the sacrament of forgiveness. Grant us your tender devotion to Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother. Accompany us on our earthly pilgrimage toward the blessed homeland, where we too hope to arrive to contemplate forever the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Closing Prayer St. Pio, we pray the prayer you composed for confidence and trust in God's mercy. O Lord, we ask for a boundless confidence and trust in your divine mercy and the courage to accept the crosses and sufferings which bring immense goodness to our souls and that of your church. Help us to love you with a pure and contrite heart and to humble ourselves beneath your cross as we climb the mountain of holiness, carrying our cross that leads to heavenly glory. May we receive you with great faith and love in Holy Communion and allow you to act in us as you desire for your greater glory. O Jesus, most adorable heart and eternal fountain of divine love, may our prayer find favor before the divine majesty of your heavenly Father. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.